welcome to my channel i'm pleased here today i'm going to show you how to rewire cubase to fl studio that is connecting fl studio to cubase maybe you've played a beat in cubase and you want to record in fl studio or you want to record in cubase whilst you have played a beat in fl studio so you are just connecting this to daw so that you can work it's very easy so today this, that's what i'm going to show you but please if you are new to my channel here make sure you subscribe to the channel like and comment on this video for me thank you for doing that all right without wasting my time let's get into it so this is cubase cubase 5 let us see let's see if you open a new project so you go to the empty because you're just recording and you and you create a folder let's say 2020 here so tutorial i'll name it tutorial real why then you save it okay then okay so there is it so we say let's say we play the beat in fl studio and you want to connect it so that we can record it's just simple you just come to here um, you come to your devices then you move on to vst instrument okay then you select it then you see that all these things are here fl studio you can select any of them and you see that it will just open this thing for you you can choose the that create or cancel any of them then you see fl studio vst is there then you just click on it then we have it here so you just select the kind of beat you want to use or the beat that you played you want you just select it and you start working with it okay sometimes to when you click on this and you come here you see that there's you would you wouldn't find these things here and you'll be asking yourself how to just get it there that's fl studio how to get that fl to uh, fl studio sorry fl studio vs today how will you do it if you click here and you can't find it we have a simple way of doing that first of all you just have to find where you can find that and that's you come to your computer my computer then you select drive c then you move on to program fast that is the 86 which is 64 bit then you move to vst you get it that is where you can find these things or you can also move to image line that is the fl studio image line you come to fl studio 20 then you look for um okay it's not here okay it's here no nah, it's not here you have several ways of just finding them okay it's not here or you can just search for it fl yes fl studio vst you see then it will just pop up so you right click on it and open file location it's still here so it's still the same place but we have some place too that we can find this thing it's just that i can't find that place but you just search for it in your search box and it will just bring it so you select file location and you know that now this is where we can find it we just move to um my computer then we move to drive c then you move down to programs drives then we come to where vst vst plugins there is it okay that's where we can find it so now you come to your cubase then you click on devices then you move to plug in information this thing will just come up here so this is where all the vst plugins are being added so these are all the vst plugins i have on the machine so if you can't find fl studio fl studio vst so we are f column my own is there that's why you can find so if you can't find it there's it's just a simple thing you just come here vst right click on it then you click on add then you see it open so you go to my computer you click on look at the c then you move down to this place where you can find it because we found it here then you move on to where 
vst you move on to vst because this is where we can find it then you just click on ok because my own is there there's no need for me to click ok again so after clicking ok let's say i click ok after clicking ok then this thing will just move it wouldn't come here at all if you click ok it will just then you click ok to here then then you come and update it you click on the update it will load all the plugins that's supposed to be here the vst thing that's supposed to be here then you just search for it fl studio you see that today after that you just come here then vst you see that you just find your stuff here so it's just very simple that's how we do it please that's the end of the video if you like my video make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any videos i post over here around mixing and mastering and playing a beat uh, making a music in your home okay so like and comment thank you for watching i'm out